Hello guys, welcome to Dumpster Chicks. We are mother and daughter crazy about dumpster diving. And guess what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. You know, we've been diving cautiously with mom, but um, this is the first time we're back at Ulta since the shutdown. So I am so, so happy that the first time I went back there, I found a soup box. And this, I am not really holding my breath. I know there was a lot of cords and uh, boxes for uh, hair tools, but I don't think the hair tools are there. So I just grabbed it all in and we are gonna see <laughs> if we got lucky. But this definitely has something and I pray that it's not too damaged and I'm so excited. And I feel super rusty with the makeup stuff because we haven't done an Ulta haul in such a long time. So you're gonna excuse me if I'm messy. I'm always messy. And sorry, mom is not here. She didn't really took part in this dive because it was kind of a spontaneous trip. I think they haven't even opened yet. I mean, yeah, they probably opened, but l not too long ago they were doing curbside pickup. And so anyways, hold on, hold on. You know what? This would probably be my favorite thing. So I'm going to go with this to so save the best for last. And I also hope you can hear me because I don't have the microphone that we use when we are at the studio. <laughs> anyways. We'll see you. Ah! <laughs> I'm crazy, right? <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh, the box is so broken. The box, the bag. I'm making a mess. Oh, I see stuff. I see stuff. I see makeup. <gasps> oh, fuck. Shh, sorry. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Who cares about the pump? I know how to do this. You press down and you just take the product uh, with a little um, pencil brush. This is color pop pretty fresh and it's a hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer this is the type of thing i like Ooh, oh man you're kidding me it's not a good shape though it's kind of like i don't know maybe this is just product from the bag but as you can see there's a lot of packaging hold on i'm just leaning forward to show you all the package they just it just fell off the bag when i was uh shaking the bag frantically <laughs> So yeah, a lot of nothing. But I'm going to hope that something else is there. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I saw cables, but I just don't know. And I looked for another bag with the, the actual tools. Because normally that's what they do. They split them and I couldn't find it. And I looked really well. So I don't know if someone else got there before me or what. Oh, I'm, excuse the mess, but I'm trying to rip it. Okay, there you go. So this is the other half such a shame 58 dollars i guess all the, the brushes came inside and this is you see damn this is this is just the cable i bet hot tools yeah just the cable just the cord cord cable same oh my god wait a second what is this <gasps> it's dyson this is like a dock oh man this is heavy. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> if you guys know what this is, <laughs> just tell me. Unless I find the, the box and show like a photo of it. So ma more empty. What? Okay, here we go. Nailed it. Look. Ta-ta. That's great. You see? Oh. Okay. I have plenty of hair tools though. So I'm not going to complain. Just to use like a hair tie. And just the box nothing else oh, nothing i think this is it uh no dyson you see okay wait a second wait a second i'm sitting on the floor look guys i just came back from work i'm wearing black jeans and it's like 93 degrees so this it's they cut the corn this is my messy back here so don't mind and this definitely goes in there but what's up? I mean, what is this? I'm sorry. What is this? I wish I knew. It doesn't say anything in the box there. All right, let's see. Do we have anything else? T -t 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 -t. Empty, empty. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. But you know what? They're mean. They, close, they, they cut it super close to the cord. And this is like... Um, Super close to the, the, you know, the 
whatever that is. I don't know. What, I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's also. I don't know if I knew. I would know how to fix this because this is a, a fabric mesh around the cord. Uh, but we have a good, uh, a good uh, viewer of ours. Hey, shout out to Michelle. She normally gets this stuff when we find it. <laughs> and her husband is amazing. He fix it, fixes everything. So, yeah. I think this is something they probably had been using at the store. Because you see how this is faded. So, I don't know if this is brand new or not. Something tells me it's not brand new. Well, something. Like, this tells me it's not brand new. But who knows? So one of the oh look at it look at this okay look we're putting together something here this is this definitely has to come as part of am I making this up I don't even know how this works <gasps> something like maybe in there maybe oh my god I wish I knew maybe this is like a battery for cordless charging you <laughs> okay laugh laugh at my guess it's like you put something here to charge and then when you need to charge this you connect it to AC whatever like I'm an extraterrestrial coming from another planet trying to get our life here in planet Earth. Okay, nothing. Another cable. Is this a Dyson cable? No, this is... Yeah, this is Dyson cable. Hmm. Okay. No, I think it, this is it. I just see empty <laughs> packaging. This is going to be so much fun to clean. Look at this. Oh, great, Tammy. Great. Go ahead. Can you be messier? Oh, I wish I had found this skincare. But maybe some of this stuff is in here. Shall we take a look? Okay, hold on. Let me put this one. Save it. And I hope my husband doesn't come out now because he's going to be like, what is she doing? Okay, sorry. I got to grab this phone better. I'm filming it with our phones. Oh, my God. God, Lord, help us. Soup galore. <sighs> okay. First thing I see, I'm not ready here because normally I would have a plastic. Well, I have a plastic. This plastic which just happened to be here because my husband was doing carpentry and I am going to use it because I don't know what else to do. I need to put, I don't want to mess the floor up. All right. So here we go, guys. This is, I would say this is one third full. So it's pretty yeah, pretty empty, but good for like a few uses. And I don't know what it is. It's a high conditioner, where? Conditioner, hydrating, sorry. I'm reading before I show you, hydrating conditioner. Okay, cool. Oh, empty. Oh, I need to find a way to do this better. Empty, I'll put it on the side here. Oh man, a blush. You know, we never find blushes. We rarely do. I don't know, I get so lazy. We have plenty of makeup, so when I start seeing stuff like this, I'm like, ah, I don't have the time. Ooh, this is full. This is like two thirds full. And this is a shampoo, which is great. We never buy shampoo in this household. Well, moms are nice uh, because we always find stuff. So naked, urban decay, naked, um, hybrid, mm, complexion, perfecter. It's pretty empty as you can. Well, it's not pretty empty, but 50% empty or 50% full if you are an optimist. Oh, my God. Okay, this there's something loose in here. Hopefully, it's just a little brush. I'll show you once I clean, whatever I decide that I'm going to clean, I'll show it to you. But in case this doesn't make the cut, you saw it right there. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is it. Dyson. I swear to God, I, I saw Dyson somewhere. Look. This is the other thing. It's like, yeah, you see what I'm talking about? It's a cordless. I don't get what it is. That is such a shame. I'd be so scared of God, what to do, right? I'd be super scared of having to wet this in some kind of way and like mess it up, mess up the electronics inside. I don't think it will be safe. That's the thing. It's super heavy. Like, you know what? Actually, I wouldn't use this myself because it would make my, my arm tired. Like, <laughs> you can tell I'm not in shape, right? 
Ooh, okay, sunscreen, 30. You know, in, here in Florida, we need to use this all the time. Everybody should use it, but us in particular. What else? Ooh, this is full. This is full, guys. Um, oh, I'm so excited. I feel like the good old days. <laughs> and new normal is like, like similar to the old normal. Okay, moisturizer. I'm trying to read while I talk to you. Treatment. Uh, conditioner? Is it a conditioner? Treatment balm. It's a hair product. Ooh, I can use it. It goes with that one. Uh, no, dude, all these hair tools. Uh, I think one of them is actually not. They just put it there. Hold on. Try to. You see. Oh, the color is super pretty. Everything is kind of the same aqua, aqua color, <laughs> right? Ah. Uh, I see it. I see. Oh, oh, hold on. What is this? Oh, not good. Oh my god. I see this pouch. What a shame. <laughs> Someone's face is there. This is like uh, HP Cosmetics. Oh, this is going to be painful. Really painful. And I think it's time to change my glove. Can I do it with one hand? All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I decided to just take everything I could, everything I thought I could rescue, I took out. Here, I'm just gonna hang on to this because there's a lot of uh, cups, and then, you know, as we wash stuff, you realize that the cups that you needed, you threw away, and I learned from that mistake, so now I'm saving that for a little, uh, a little longer. Sorry for the cable popping up there. So this, and okay, this is also garbage. Empty, empty bottles. Yeah, most of it is completely empty. There were a lot of like beauty supplements or vitamins. No idea. So you can see there is really no, not too much left. Uh, we definitely have gotten way luckier in the past. And also to be honest, I don't know uh, my will. I know my willpower. I know it's not really high. So things like this. I, le I took them out just to show you because I think they're so, so, so pretty, but I'm not sure I'm going to go ahead and clean it because I don't have the patience and I don't need it. And I'm terribly sorry. I know a lot of people when they're like super new to makeup, they're like, no, no, oh my God, you know, but I don't have the time right now. And uh, yeah, another thing that I saved to show you because it's so pretty, but again, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Look at this. Oh. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. It's, uh, what is it? Cover FX. And it's a what, Pat? Uh, sentence. This is a bronzer. You know, my, something's wrong with my eyes. To me, this is like a burgundy, like, yeah, <laughs> copper burgundy, not, not really like a brown, more like a red, but yeah, whatever. So super, super, super happy for all these uh, brushes. This is a full collection. So I decided to save the pouch, even though I thought like, you know, it's ruined. I might be able to wash it. This might be washable. And this was a full collection of um, BH Cosmetics brushes. And I think we got all of them. The box was on the, with the other, the cables that I found, the cords that I found uh, before. So I know that they just opened it up and tossed everything in there. I will uh, take a break. And next time you see me, you will see the stuff that I rescue. All right, here we are with the stuff magically cleaned, pristine. Well, not exactly pristine. Some stuff is better than other. <laughs> but uh, kudos to mom who helped me clean some of this. <sighs> it's uh, always uh, time consuming. Let's see now what we actually got out of that box. I think it could have been better, but it could have been, could have been way worse for just one box and one bag. It's not too bad, right? We have a bunch of hair products. Kenra being um, the first one. This is the Platinum Lux Shine Shampoo, like again, by Kenra. I've tried this in the past, not this one, but uh, things from this brand, and I wasn't too impressed. Obviously, when it's free, uh, it does the trick <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> no complaints. 
Um, and yeah, the stuff on the white surface is uh, it's really hard to, to remove the foundation. It always makes me think, you put that on your skin, oh my god, <laughs> but hey, it, it works. We also have this uh, OY, I don't really know, I've seen this brand before, I don't know how to pronounce it, this is a conditioner, and uh, the Kenra one was two-thirds full, this is, I think it's up to, from here, like, up to here, so just enough to try it a couple times. Let's go back to hair products. We have from Joico, I guess, the um, conditioner and treatment balm. Was there a shampoo? No. So I'm excited about this because I, it's been a while since I got a hair mask and so I, I can always use that unless my mom wants it. I haven't asked her. <laughs> this is full. This is full and heavy. Super happy because I'm interested in trying that. This one again has a little bit. I think I would say it has up to from here down. So enough to try. Ugh, this is full of foundation, but believe me, it doesn't come off. We try. This is the best we could do. And we care about the inside and the inside is clean. Sometimes what we do is like square, like the what's near the uh, the 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 opening so everything that might be like had product or anything comes out and then the rest is clean we have redken extreme shampoo and conditioning this much left and half full um yeah, good to try good to try new products there is an eyelash curler by who made this does it say benefit I can't read. Oh, Ulta Beauty. Okay, cool. Luckily, my eyelashes are pretty curvy. I'm so lucky, I gotta say. So I won't be using this. We'll donate it or maybe put it in a giveaway box. Oh, I skipped this. And uh, sorry if you hear noise, my neighbor's dog decided to bark and they're mo cutting the grass. Just right now, right? Exactly, it's perfect timing. <sighs> All right, all right. Ceramic and iron, Olivia Garden, 2010. This is old. You know what? This when I see this, it makes me think of, um, you know, they have they cut hair at the stores. Again, so sorry for the freaking noise. It just happened now, right? Perfect timing. Uh, maybe they hang this like from a belt or some kind of uh, just I don't know. It, it makes me think that this is kind of a hook. But at the same time, it makes me think this was new because it has this plastic tag. I hope you can hear me. Damn. Um, so yeah, we cleaned this the best we could. And for the use, I don't think this, the stain handle matters. It doesn't stain your hand. It's just the, the rubberized material got stained kind of permanently. All right, uh, La Roche. My best friend always talks about this brand. It's super, super good apparently. This is a Tolera Tolerian Ultra, <coughs> obviously. <laughs> so it's a, oh, wait a second, it's all in French. Oh, of course, it's made in France. So who knows what this is? Kind of some kind of anti-aging, probably, or something something good for the skin. And uh, I'm all about this type of products. Judging by the, you know how it's it's funny how the the packaging is kind of like in a little bag inside. So judging by it, I would say it's obviously not full, but it feels heavy enough to have a, more than a few tries. I would say this would last me at least a month, given that I don't use a lot of product. All right, Dermalogical. Oh my God, I love this brand. So far, all the products that I tested from it are, have been super good. Everything from the dumpster. <laughs> so excited about this active moist, um, Skincare system research and developed by da, 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 da. so moist uh, as a cream, uh, oil free lightweight moisturizer to hydrate combination skin. Wonderful! I have combination skin. Thank you, Dermalogical and, and Ulta. And I would say we have like this much left. Not bad at all. Also, this is exciting though. It's too yellow for me, so I'll go in the giveaway or in the um, donation or in the cell pile. It's pretty full too by uh, ColourPop. Um, hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer you saw this very clearly when I opened the bag and this was so clean um, great find now I saved this because this is such a popular product but it's not too full the naked skin one and done 
broad spectrum SPF um, complexion perfecter. I guess it's good for a try. What's medium light? Could be my shade. Hey. Uh, what else? Ah, benefit mm, cleans, smooth it off. So this is, I believe, a scrub for your face, a very gentle scrub for your face, um, exfoliator. And it's at least 50% full, and I'm so looking forward to using this. I love exfoliators, and I keep them in the shower and exfoliate with the heat of the, the hot water. I don't know, I love it, and I love this brand as well. We also have here the Neutrogena 30 SPF Hydro Boost. I tried this already. We live in Florida. It's freaking hot. It's way too hot. It's scary. Let's not talk about climate change or anything like that. But guys, when you live in a place like this and you see how hot it gets, it's scary. The good thing about this product is that it's super cooling. When I tried it, I'm like, oh, it's, it's very milky. And I'm like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it did the trick. I was under the sun and it was great. It helped me not get a sunburn. But at the same time, it felt so nice on the skin. It almost feels like an after sun lotion, not a pre-sun lotion. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, you've seen this uh, when I pull it out of the bag. It's uh, the the one hair tool that was in, uh, it wasn't um, stained or uh, it didn't have product on it at all. Cut the cord, very difficult to fix. I don't know, maybe someone can do that. And uh, yeah, we were talking about whether it was new or not because of this um, fading of the brand right there. Maybe it was something that they use in the uh, hair salon part of the store. I don't know. Um, here comes the neighbor with the mowing machine again. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we have these two that I rescued. They're so full. Well, maybe, maybe, at least this much. Now it's hard to tell because they've been laying down. This Maybelline 24 hour, what's it called? It's a very popular foundation. Oh, what's it called? The Super Stay. Super Stay in, do I know? 312 Golden, I can't read with the phone. <laughs> golden something. And this one is, oh, the same one. Golden Door. Oh, okay, it's, I think it's in two languages, Golden and Door door is like golden in French I believe don't quote me on it <laughs> the same but this one looks darker to me eh, it looks the same it looks the same so two of the same pretty full um, so you know we, we uh, when there is little product I don't keep it Ugh, please stop mowing the lawn oh they're blowing the leaves great great hey great subscribe to my channel neighbor okay all right sorry so we have a Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in 3, which I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel super heavy. So, oh, it's so cute. Look at that. But I love Benefit and I would say it's maybe down here. So again, good to try. Like, honestly, a few instances I had gone and purchased myself products that I found in the garbage. So if someone has something to do against dumpster divers, sometimes it, do, it does bring business because you try something and then you realize you cannot live without it and you end up buying it. It can happen, it happened to me, just saying. So when you have this and it's not too much, you can try it and maybe love it. All right, one more thing from the non-brush section of this haul. We have this and it was super clean, so I figured why not? I'm gonna try to find a way to cover this. It's a serum uh, by Ulta Beauty. And it smells super nice, super lightweight. It's it's a little oily, but not that. You know how some of these serums are really oily. Well, this is not the case. So um, I'm happily surprised with the way this feels on the skin. And I don't know about the youthful glow, but uh, so far I enjoy using it. I tested it. Now we have brushes, 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 brushes. Of course, I think we could try clean the bristles better, but um, this is like a first pass. I will go back and try to clean them better for now I just wanted to show you this is the it by it uh, brushes for Ulta and we have four of them this is kind of like a brush blush brush it, it just says it here airbrush powder of course airbrush powder I, I should shut up and read the description airbrush foundation so these are like I guess the airbrush line they look the same as all the other ones that we find though I really like this type of brushes honestly um, fluffy like that this will be the shadow brush, of course. 
Now the blue, I don't know about that blue and green. I don't, I don't know what got into this and I doubt this can come off. But as long as you know they're clean and you super sanitize them and clean them, uh, you know, nothing, it, should, it should be okay. Um, mm, airbrush concealer. So if you know another way we use soap and hot water and then alcohol, uh, the alcohol works really well for trying to dissolve the foundation. But if you know any other way, let us know. You know, we're always looking for ways to improve. And then we have the RT. I don't know what RT, Real Techniques, duh. <laughs> you know how the brain finds the answer even before, <laughs> before you even think of it? So these are Real Techniques, oops, um, brushes, three of them, RT 200, and it's a expert face brush. Oh, it's perfect for me, an expert. Yep, same, same deal. Looks pretty much like the other ones. This is a blush brush. I told you. <laughs> this is pretty good in terms of how we clean them. Good job, mom. Amazing. This one is kind of like a kabuki style brush. This is so difficult to remove, but this is nice and dense. It's so dense. It's beautiful. It feels so good. Uh, the 213, and this is a foundation blender. It's nice, kind of cute, chubby. Oof. All right, and this are the BH Cosmetics, oops, sorry about that, BH Cosmetics uh, brush collection set that we found that they had the pouch and the box, we have that in the, we found it all, but the, sadly the pouch was really stained with that green stuff, so I thought I could save it, but no, I couldn't. And yeah, we'll see if we can clean them better. It's probably a foundation brush, I can s does it say? Come on, help me, the other brands help me, why don't you help me? You see, so inconsiderate. So have fun guessing with me what this is. I, I read something. <gasps> oh, the brand is here, but there's no description. It's really hard to see. Ah, there you go. So BH Cosmetics number two. And yeah, there's nothing written. So I'm just going to guess and you will uh, laugh at my ignorance. Concealer brush. This is a flat top brush <laughs> for something, for foundation, for blending. This is a... Uh, let's see, this would be a uh, uh, face brush, of course. It looks like that, right? It looks like the other one. I would say this is a face brush. And these little ones, they almost look, some of them look like they are the same, but I bet you they are not. I just, it's hard to tell. Yeah, the different, different points. See like a flat top. This is more of a flat rounded. This is like a shader brush, angled brush. Ah. Who knows? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Being that there are ten, I'm gonna guess we have a full set because uh, we could have missed a couple down in the bottom of the dumpster. I don't know, but at least it's ten. Like if I've been seven or nine, it's kind of a weird number, but ten sounds like a full set. We'll see. And last, I'm leaving uh, this one for last just because I didn't think this could be cleaned. <laughs> There goes mom again, saving the day. Uh, you can see a little uh, foundation there left. But this strikes me as such an expensive product. I didn't even research how much it costs. It's really heavy, which makes it not very comfortable. Like, you know, you have to lift your hand up in the air to use it, at least uh, some parts of the hair. And this is really heavy. You get a workout out of this. But it is so pretty. And the charger, wow. Airplane mode? What is this? Oh. Anyways, it looks really fancy. Dyson is an expensive brand. And hold on, let me try to fetch it from here. We also have what I assume is a charger. Sorry, you see you see my leg here. Uh, <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor. The charger is there. And the only thing is the cord has been cut. But uh, for a product this expensive, if I am right about that, about the price, it's so worth finding a way to fix it. Because, I don't know, this will be, could be hundreds of dollars. So we'll look more into that. But yeah, this is the haul. I'm excited to be able to bring you an Ulta haul because everybody likes them. We like them. We don't like cleaning, but we like the hauls. And it's been so, so long. And we know, I, I mean, actually, we don't know when we'll be able to go back, given that things are crazy here in Florida. We, we keep on trying, but also safety. Safety goes always above finding a few things and um, especially you know mom it's a little older 
so we don't want to risk not having her, her um, smiley face around, right? Anyways, I'm digressing now. We hope you are doing great um, and you're safe. And um, as usual, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Ring the bell so you'll be notified every time we upload the video that will be usually on Mondays unless we have to stay home. We'll see. <laughs> but in any case, see you in the dumpster.